Ramble. Thank you to Chime for sponsoring today's episode of The Tripod. Welcome to The Tripod. Everybody was not in agreement <laughs> with the last episode that was almost a year ago. Welcome. Pleasant or horrifying to versions. To the synth cut. To the tripod synth cut. To the tripod synth cut. We are going to be doing a synthesizer this entire episode. If you don't like it, <laughs> we'll see you next week. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have some quiet in between, but it's mostly going to be us playing with this boop and bop. We have two synthesizers that we're playing with today. This one's more about an, a noise machine for me right now. The other one's more of a I can build you songs pretty easily. But this one? Oh, listen. what an awful. Yeah, it's like that <laughs> That's sound. That's awful. Out. Okay, let's slow it down. Yes, yes. Let's se- separate the. I mean, I think our goal today is to build a new theme song, <gasps> specifically for Rainy Day for Thoughts. Rainy? Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, well, then we need to. I mean, but we'll get there. We have we have a whole hour to get there. I don't think we should spend a whole hour doing this. I think you're wrong. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Why do you think I'm wrong? Well, I don't know. It just, it's getting more tense in here. And I just feel like it's because of the, the synthesizer. <laughs> I hate it. This one is not pleasing me. How did you, what research went into buying that? Because I'm sure there's a many on the market. Ugh, this, this is not, this is, I, I would have thrown my phone across the room by now. <laughs> How about, okay, we'll just go to. Okay, we'll just make tones. How's that? <laughs> Do it like that. It sounds like Do it like that. A bee. A bee. It kind of sounds like um like the the droning of the the bug zapper lamp outside your porch. Yes. We hear something that sounds On a rainy day. Weirder. I had ramen for lunch. Ramen for lunch. It was a vegetable ramen. I didn't really care for it. I asked for extra tofu because I wanted protein. Sometimes ramen makes my joints hurt. Too much salt and sodium. I think. Sometimes I can't be sure. Ramen makes me shit my brains out. Perhaps. <laughs> Perhaps. It might be the the pork that's inflammatory. Oh yeah. Either way, I didn't go for it. So I had a mushy ass ramen. They put avocado in there. Not what I want. Luckily, Keith brought me noodles from a Chinese restaurant in Pasadena. A Chinese restaurant in Pasadena. Pasadena. Chinese, Chinese restaurant in Pasadena. Pasadena. Chinese, Chinese restaurant in Pasadena. Chinese restaurant in Pasadena. Chinese restaurant in Pasadena. Chinese restaurant in Pasadena. <laughs> 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 want to hear a really crazy sound? I do. <laughs> we made hardcore eye contact. <laughs> it was hot. That. Very hot. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Sounds like a duck splashing around next to a boat. They're just running. It's crazy because ramen is what I eat when my my stomach hurts. Mm. Like, I'm like, oh, it's soft and easy. But for you guys, it's hard on your stomach. Yeah. Yeah. It's not the stomach. It's the rest of the body. Um, for me, it's the gut. Yeah. 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 Ooh, now we're playing like a video game. Yeah, it sounds like you're blasting. I'm not hearing anything. You don't hear anything? I mean, I just hear it. You don't hear the high end? No. I don't know. either, actually. Oh, I guess I do. It's only one. It's just a boop, boop, boop. Yeah, I hear that. So the thing is that here, 
and Randy was confused too, is that these keys are kind of irrelevant during the droning. But if I hit here, so there, the pitch is very minute on Fair. whatever waveform I've got going on here. Well, I have um, exciting news for you. <gasps> Me? Yeah. I so this this um about a year ago we talked about hobbies on the synth cut I believe oh probably yeah probably and I wanted to get an AR augmented reality projector there was one that we found called Lightform mm. they uh, discontinued they they went out of business and it looked amazing and if you guys don't remember um, or don't care I'm gonna tell you anyway. It is a projector that can scan a three-dimensional space, right. and then it brings it into what is essentially a Photoshop-like app where you can then, like, let's say I, I had this view of Keith. I could cut out his body, and I could project just onto him or just not on him, you know? And so, like, let's say you have a plant. You can, like, have your projector only project onto the wow. leaves of the plant and nothing else around it, so there's no light bleed. That's really cool. And then you can choose whatever texture you want. I can have... It could just pink. I can have it be a kaleidoscope of moving images. I can have it look like it's a plant that is disintegrating into sand. Whatever. Now I was really devastated. And I kept checking back in because the light form was sold out. And now eventually they said, hey, we're, we're done. We're shutting down. And that was quite devastating. And I checked back on their website again. And they're like, not only are we shutting down, but like this is our last firmware update. Best of luck out there. Uh -oh. So I've thought about buying one second hand, but like, what's the point? And just now, before this episode, I potentially found a competitor brand. <gasps> and I'll report back. You gotta order it. Is it? Yeah, you gotta just. Ship I, it. I literally like Send found it at the end of it. the call I was on. <gasps> I was doing that thing at the on a Zoom call uh -huh. where I was like. Yeah, I'm listening, but I'm, but also, I'm also like online. searching the web. Yeah. And uh, then I found one and I went, <gasps> and then the call ended and I went, I must go. <laughs> wow. Right in the nick of time, though. Yeah, we'll see. I hope you find it. I it do, would be I, cool. I want it. I didn't realize that you were having such a hard time getting well, a hold of it. That makes it seem like I was really trying hard, yeah. which I wasn't. Just I every just... so often you would remember <laughs> and you would look. I, whenever I looked, I would go, ah, dang nabbit, they're not selling it. Right. Yeah. And then I never thought to buy one on eBay. I don't know. I've got um, a robust segment for to layer over the synth. Yes. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> All right. So... We've got a sister podcast, and I'm sort of wondering... Guilty Pleasures. Right. <laughs> no, because that wouldn't make any sense. Guilty Pleasures can compete, but it would have to be like a bonus episode because it wouldn't make sense. Okay. Because we're going to see who is smarter. Are you smarter than... A Are you smarter than the sister app? <laughs> so to find out who wins this game, you have to go to You Can Sit With Us. But we're going to play Jeopardy. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Who is Albus Dumbledore? Who is that? Oh my gosh. IPod you, versus oh my gosh. Yeah. You've made a, a whole thing. I've made a whole thing today. Is this a custom Jeopardy board? Yeah. Wait. Oh my <laughs> god. Oh my god. Did you and you made these? Yeah. And so, the, okay, the categories are pop culture, you guys, heart, mm -hmm. things I parentheses, rainy, mm -hmm. Googled, uh, Staff trivia mm -hmm. and herstory. Uh huh. But herstory <laughs> is missing <laughs> a two hundred yeah. and a four hundred. Because <laughs> I sort of ran out of time, and um, I thought it would be sort of like the um, seventy-seven cents on a dollar. Sure. And now Keith and I are we playing on a team? Yep. And we basically have an opportunity to answer every question on the board mm -hmm. until time runs out. Yeah. And the one catch is this isn't a. It's not the answer, and you do the question. This oh. is just trivia. So really. it's not Jeopardy. It's well, it has the board. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> it's half Jeopardy, half Triv. So Jeppivia. 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 Jeppivia sounds <laughs> ready, like ready? something you eat to make yourself shit. Ready? <laughs> oh.
kind of. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Very good. Got too many notes in it, but what can you do? What can you There's do? Too many notes in there. Okay, let's do the question. Well, I'll take pop culture for 500, Alec. Ooh, you're going full send? Yeah, I mean, why, you know? If I know it, if, whether I know it now or later, it's not going to change. <laughs> Justin Bieber famously imitates reporter for what? What? For what? After she told him Selena Gomez, for it would should say for this, after she told him Selena Gomez wants to cut his hair. Justin Bieber famously imitates reporter for what? After she told him <laughs> Selena Gomez wants to cut his hair. So Selena Gomez wanted to cut Justin Bieber's hair mm -hmm. in 2010. Mm -hmm. And a reporter told Justin that. And yep. he imitated the reporter famously. So I would say, what is a speech impediment? Oh, okay. <laughs> I just, that's how I would feel like he would get in trouble for imitating right. I was also thinking this was Bad Boy Era, and I was going to yeah. go with a lisp. No, no, no. So this is 2010, so this isn't Bad Boy Era yet. Oh. This is pre-Bad Boy Era. What is Bieber singing in the... Oh, this is Swoopy Hair Bieber. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, just, so he was a little angel baby. And he was imitating a reporter... I'm going to go with she had an accent. Her laugh. Her laugh. Her laugh. Have you seen this? Here, I'm I don't play know this. Her laugh. I'm troubled that these are going to be rainy pop cultures. I, I didn't hear that, but what do you think it sounds that? like something she said. <laughs> <laughs> I like that laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I do remember that. It's so funny. Uh, let's go, you guys for five hundred. Oh, am I? Should I not be starting with the hard ones? I don't know. They are the hard ones. It's not like I'm gonna warm up my brain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you just might want to give yourself a little win. But I don't know. Maybe this one's easy. I can't remember. Sure. What did Zach get in trouble for most growing up? Okay. Well, you should just say what you believe the answer is, and then you you can't be wrong. It's a great point. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm trying to think where my mind went. I don't <laughs> think was, is do right. Think it, it wasn't weed. Oh, that was a later thing, right? Yeah, I mean, but define you did get growing in trouble up. a lot. Define growing up. <laughs> I feel like you Anything got in a lot of trouble for weed. Under 22. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's a sad truth that money can't buy happiness. You know, I wish it could, but. Not worrying about your money comes kind of close. That's where Chime can help you smile more. They were just named the number one most loved banking app with payday up to two days early and fee-free overdrafts up to $200. They offer financial peace of mind in your wallet. All of this with no annual fees, large security deposits, or credit checks to apply. See for yourself why Chime is so loved at Chime.com slash TryGuys. That's Chime.com slash TryGuys. Chime is a financial technology company, not a bank. Banking services and debit card provided by the Bank Corp Bank or Stride Bank N.A. Members FDIC. Early access to direct deposit funds depends on payer. Spot me eligibility requirements and overdraft limits apply. See Chime.com slash Spot me. Chime was the 2021 number one most downloaded banking app in the U.S. according to Aptopia. Did you, who did you ask for this? <laughs> Should Nobody, we, should you. Should we say You're, what you is got the weed? answer. Or what do you what think? There's something else? Well, I was thinking of like when I was like a little kid. I definitely thought that too. But then I thought about, you know, the time you went to jail. Sure. <laughs> that was for weed. You went to jail? I'm almost certain. I went to... <laughs> wait, which one? He, he, he was arrested. I was arrested. He was, he was uh, put, in a, put in a cell. I didn't go to prison. Cell. No. Is it I, on your record? No. Where? What, so tell the, what happened. I have, well, I'm going to need a song. <laughs> I think we want that one. I think so too. But it's I'm, I just are we done? I like it, but I just think that what we can do. And by we, I mean you. And I go, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Zach, what is weed? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so before we get into our answer, which is probably going to be weed, um, <laughs> uh, this is the MPC one. This is a music production center, MPC, music mm -hmm. production center. Um, it is like a computer, specifically for music production. So there's all these projects. I think it was the pop one that had the, oh, uh, oh, uh, but it might have been how something else. Let's find out. Oh, one, one. I 
was outside a Passion Pit concert <laughs> in the city of New York. We were in Hell's Kitchen, and I was trying to... Hey, what happened? I'm trying to find that fucking... Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Just get... It's okay, we'll get to it. I was outside this concert, and I wanted to light up a spark a little doobie before the show. Do me. I'm young. <laughs> I'm seeing Passion Pit. I want to get a little high. I, uh... Spark How old a, were you? I was in college. Okay. Spark up a joint to rue with my buddies. I see a man walking towards us. Got a burlap blanket over him, and I go, oh, this guy's gonna ask us to smoke our weed or something. He comes up to us. We don't really pay him no attention. It's New York City. There's lots of weird people. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, ba-bam! He knocks the joint <laughs> out of our hand. Ba-bam! He drops the blanket. Ba bam! He flaps a pair of handcuffs onto He's an undercover my friend's cop? hand. It's a motherfucking undercover cop. It's a motherfucking <laughs> undercover cop. It's a motherfucking undercover <laughs> cop. It's an undercover cop. They were looking for drinkers, but they caught a smoker and they arrested. Me and my friends. It was very cold out that night. Oh, it was cold. I was also very <laughs> high already. They came to us towards the end. So now I'm stoned. And cold. <laughs> and I'm waiting to see what the hell is going to happen next. They drop a hand warmer. And I say, officer, I would like that hand warmer. And he says, well, it's on the ground now. And I say, well, officer, if I can bend down and pick it up, am I allowed to use the hand warmer? And he said, go ahead and try. My hands were behind me. The officer thought that I wasn't spry. Oh, my God. Little did he know I'm amazing. <laughs> I'm amazing. <laughs> so I squatted down with my powerful thighs. And I picked up that hand warmer. Behind my back. <laughs> and it warmed my little hands. It warmed my little fingers. It warmed my little toes. No, it didn't. It only warmed my hands. It felt so nice. I'd bent down twice. <laughs> my little hands. <laughs> Sorry. So at that point, um, I'm very high with my friends. They put us into uh, a cop car and um, now I'm sitting in a cop car and we are deliriously stoned and I keep thinking <laughs> I keep thinking what did I do to deserve <laughs> this journey that I was about to go on. <laughs> the music in the cop car. Oh, it sent me on a journey, all right. <laughs> we went to go see a concert, but instead, <laughs> we saw a concert in the back of a cop car. <laughs> uh, I, the handcuffs were behind me. <laughs> and every time I tried to relax, the weight of my body would tighten <laughs> the handcuffs and it hurt. It hurt. <laughs> you see, it turns out handcuffs. <laughs> They're not comfortable. They're not comfortable. And they get tight, but they don't get looser. And then they brought us to the station. <laughs> New song? Oh, uh, well, it takes a second. Okay, well, <laughs> I have to I'll, write, I have to, I'll okay. wait. I'll okay, wait. hold on. Uh, let me go back to the menu. And to tell you I about feel the, like we just won a Grammy. Yeah. You think we did? To yeah. tell you about the station, well, <laughs> stay tuned to this uh, <laughs> sponsor who doesn't want to be associated with this, this story. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of them might. We arrive at the Hell's Kitchen police station. <laughs>
Welcome to the police station. <laughs> Welcome to the police station. <laughs> yes. That's that awful one. Welcome to the police station where we get your fingerprints. Where we see if you had been arrested for another crime. We take your picture. <laughs> it's called a mugshot. A mugshot. I wish that Keith could join in this song, but his full attention is spent on the machine. So we get to the poop! <laughs> so we're in the police station. Okay, wait, this is like... It's like sultry, it's dance. I gotta find the vibe. <laughs> so I'm at the police station with my friends, Matt and Gio and Pat. We got arrested for smoking weed. They gotta take a picture Now they hold you in a cell To see if you Had been processed for another crime <laughs> We weren't wanted So we were just <laughs> hanging out In the police station <laughs> When you wanna pee You gotta go out <laughs> All together It was pretty boring in the police station. <laughs> there was a man. <laughs> he was an older man. He was passed out in the cell with us. Really drunk, I assume. <laughs> I don't know. He never woke up, so I couldn't ask him. But because of that, <laughs> I had nowhere to sit. <laughs> it was a small cell. No bigger than this room. Probably half this room. <laughs> It was gray and dingy and dirty. <laughs> I never got a copy of my mugshot. I wish I had a copy of my mugshot. It would be so nice to have a copy of my mugshot. <laughs> I would put it on some merch. I would sell it on a shirt. If you have it, I would like it. <laughs> if you're out there, NYPD, listening to me, first of all, I think you kind of suck. <laughs> but you know what would be cool? If you gave me that picture, then I'd forgive you. A little bit. <laughs> Not for all the things you do. You do a lot of bad stuff. But for arresting me, I would forgive you. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go That's with I got... Standing, I'm a standing ovation. I'm going to go with I got in trouble most for smoking weed. <laughs> final answer. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> the board says, I don't know. Board says IDK. It's just <laughs> the $500 <laughs> well, now question. It's from the source, so obviously that's right. It's oh, obviously right. Man. And then next time I'll put it on the board so that, the, that you can sit with us people know okay, cool, cool, what cool. the right answer is. Now, Keith, yeah. um, I've chosen the first two topics, so would you like to choose? Sure. I can't see the screen. Oh. Um, it's really because of this one. Oh, so cool. pop culture, you guys, things rainy Googled, staff trivia. Staff trivia, 300. Table. Staff Trev 300. And now, unfortunately, audience, I'm really bad at this machine, so Keith is going to continue to be our maestro. <laughs> oh, fuck! What's the question? Who has bowled a perfect game? None of us. There's no way. <laughs> Somebody in this office has. That's not true. In this office? Mm -hmm. Like, it, here today. I'll give you a hint. That's... Someone out there. Yeah. Okay, well, let's go down. It's not Rachel. <laughs> no. <laughs> not Rachel. Um, I mean, Chris is here right now. Yeah, but let's try staff trivia. Sure. I think I, I never know what Jack can do. I Jack <laughs> Jack has got surprises upon surprises, but we did a company bowling, uh -huh. and nobody got close to that. So that's so, a hint. 
is what I'll say. Oh, maybe. He will. I remember that. I feel like <clears throat> Desiree Devin, would say that she has. De- <laughs> Devin used to bowl. What do you mean? I think Devin said she used to bowl. Or was it golf? Maybe she also used to bowl. Those are I know she used things. to golf. I thought she bowled. I was she at our, said they bowled. I she, thought even you might have said you bowled. I certainly didn't. Okay. <laughs> I said I didn't bowl, but it would be cool. I mean, I'm cool to go with Devin as my answer. That, but I, I, the answer is that's so crazy. Mm-hmm. I would guess. I would say ah, Jonathan could have done it. Desiree could have done it. Jack, though, <laughs> doesn't it feel like? <laughs> Jack has too many things. He's got and so many secret talents. I know, but we were with him bowling. I don't remember if Devin was with us bowling that day. I only remember Jack was there because I took a photo. No, I didn't take a photo of him. That was a photo of Sam. Oh, and of, yeah. And of, of Nick. MJ. Is MJ here today? No. Not MJ. I mean, Nick Morrell is here. He's Nick Morrell is here. He's athletic. He's super athletic. Are we assuming that you need and like he wasn't there? And she said that that was a hint. Nick, um, who is Nick Morrell? No frippin' way. Nailed it. I, I, what? Yeah. That's crazy. I know. When? I have no idea. How did you find this out? I said at lunch today, does anybody have any fun facts for trivia? That's a good fun fact. And he was like, yeah. Good way to get a good fun fact. Well, let's keep rolling with that. Let's do staff triv for four. All right. Hundo. 400 points. What's Desiree's star sign? Um, Can I ask you, Rainy? Yeah. What is a star sign? (laughs) It is a guidebook. To your personality. Mine is Aquarius. Okay, so it's her <laughs> astrological sign? Yeah. Okay, well, then I know the answer. She's a Leo. Final answer. Because we have the same birthday. Nice. Also, no one has ever exhibited more Leo, Leo energy, energy than, than Desiree. Desiree. Yeah, that's true. I, mean, I like that song, Keith. Uh, it was just a single button. I hate <laughs> when the buttons are songs. I see. I hate when the buttons are songs. I'm just trying to find... A good one that I haven't heard a million times. Let's get into herstory for three hundo. Oh, that's that was a nice sound. Do you know this one, Zach? Why were most movie editors women in the beginning of movie history? That's a fascinating fun fact that I did not know. Um. Okay, well, in the beginning of movie history, we're talking like. We're talking the early uh, early 1900s, so this is a time where mm-hmm. you're on the, the right track, Zach. Gender disparity is quite um, exaggerated. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to assume that there's a very sexist reason behind this, mm-hmm. and I'm going to go ahead and say that. Okay, wait. There are two things that my mind goes to, and I'm wondering what you think here, Keith. So one is that women are seen as being more organized, and perhaps there's an organizational element to editing. Um, two. Uh, women have are could be th- this is like asking me like what sexist thoughts do I have in the back of my mind? Um, uh, perhaps women have daintier hands, and editing used to be done by hand. Mm-hmm. Um, you were literally cutting and taping things together, mm-hmm. and men's big old meaty hand, dumb hands wouldn't work. I like that answer. Um. The other could be some weird... Th- no, I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with their hands. It's pretty... I'm going to give that to you because they thought it was similar to sewing. Okay. Mm-hmm. I learned that at the Academy Museum in LA. Fun. Shout Dang, out. Dang, I've been there. Pretty cool. It was fine. It, it wasn't that actually Some cool. things were cool, <laughs> but some of them were just like... These are just movie these are screens in a room. The costumes were this, fucking The costumes sick were as amazing. Fuck. It should just be a costume museum. Yeah. Seeing cool costumes from the last hundred years of film mm-hmm. is, is like cool. Like really famous movies. It's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> first layer was just... Screens. screens though. And I was like, like hey, I could would go you on like YouTube to look at a screen know. of a significant film scene? I'm like, okay. Yeah, you're like, I mean... And then they edited it all funky... Mm-hmm. Uh, we got us. We, I mean, look, we're clearly going to be slower than the you can sit with us gals. So I think we just need to stay top tier. All right. Let's go. Things Rainy Googled for 500. Oh, fuck. 
<laughs> mope synonym. A mope cinnamon synonym? <laughs> so what's a synonym for the word mope? I mean, <laughs> like um, complain? No, mm. mope is like to droll around the house. How about droll? You didn't Brood, get it. sulk, pine, be miserable. Yeah, we weren't going to get that. That's okay. fine. That's I'm okay. fine. Brush it off. Brush it off. The, move the move fuck on. on. Um, Next question. Uh, let's go uh, uh, pop culture for four hundo. Is this how people play uh, Jeopardy? I owe it like just shoot for the top. Uh, I think you have strategies. to start at 100 and then it unlocks you it. You don't. You don't. <gasps> you don't? No. You don't oh. know anything about Jeopardy. Never mind. I really don't. <laughs> I really don't. But isn't Mayim Balik, Bialik, now the Jeopardy host? Uh, no, I thought, it, well, maybe, but I, for a long time, it was it was Ken Jennings. I think mm -hmm. they gave it to Mayim. But Ken was doing it for like four seasons, for four, four months. I, I think they were sharing it. Really? Mm, I, I love that lady. I watch a lot of Jeopardy. <clears throat> really? Yeah. Well, but I haven't watched in the last month because of holiday stuff. Oh, like recently too. Like it's yeah. it's still up there. That's yeah. awesome. It's a good show. Yeah. Charlie and Dixie D'Amelio were caught in a <laughs> vomiting scandal over which food? Now, was this on? Oh, yeah. I remember this. It was on their TV show. Or was it like a YouTube sh show? It was I think a, it was more of a it YouTube. It was their dinner. It was like dinner with the D'Amelios mm -hmm. and... Someone cooked and they thought they were being disrespectful for vomiting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they had basically <laughs> there was like a chef made them food and one of them pretended to vomit it up or vomited it up at the table. But basically, I think it wasn't, it wasn't even vomiting, it wasn't just spitting it out. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I don't know. I, I think she later out, said, but... oh no, I vomited. Like, you know, you, threw, you spat it out. <laughs> I don't remember what the food was. I don't know. Fucking like clams or something. Duck. No, it wasn't duck. Oh. I feel like it was pasta. I feel like that's why I said clams. Maybe it was clam pasta. Clam pasta. <laughs> Maybe it was octopus. I want to say it was a cultural food. Right. What if we say seafood? Seafood. <laughs> that's a really good idea. And actually, snails, a little bit. Fuck. Snails. It was escargot. Uh, I, I don't know. Sea snails. Ever heard of them? Mm. Ever heard of them? They're covered in slime. They have their own little oceans just stuck to their skin. I'll give you half credit. Thanks. How many <laughs> monies is that? Two fifty. Cool. All right. What do you want to go for next, Keith? I want to go for. I want to go for more things. Randy googled. To be honest. Which which four hundred? Yeah. Four hundred. Okay. Four hundo. How do you tie a tie? Okay. And what's the? I don't understand what the what the how I'm supposed to question. Just describe or it. Because normally Jeopardy, you know, it's an answer. Yeah. And then we asked. But I sort of looked it up and it was more of an image. And now can I find out when and why? Well, so you were there and you actually stole the show. So this is sort of a, I gave you guys a little gift with this one because I think you will know. I do know how to tie We tie. absolutely know how to tie a tie, but I don't know how to <laughs> tell it to you. I would just mime it. Yeah, but, okay. but, but first tell me why I was a star. That's more important. Well, so I was at your short film. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. And so Will Whitworth. 32 doesn't know how to tie a tie <laughs> and I was like well just look it up like you Called can figure out. it out yeah and he was like no I have looked it up a million times it's not helpful and I was like I could figure it out right now so I googled it and I sort of did it not really beautifully I did it upside down but I was like sure. with two practices I could get it but then he but then you came and you did it oh I don't remember that it takes a couple <laughs> trial and error so you have the long thing let's do it together Keith Long over your thing over your, over your neck. shoulders now. S switch it. Switch it. And you kind of, this is a person to person thing. You have to know about how long or short it's supposed to be. For most people, it can be like a third. Mm -hmm. For me, it's different because I'm, I have a longer torso. For me, the, the, like the butt of it, which is the skinny small uh -huh. part should go to about my waist where my pants are. Mine, it goes mm -hmm. like just below my nipples. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> you know. So then you are going to go over, under, over with the, the long part of the tie over, under, over. Then you go through the middle, up, and then you there's a little hole that's made, and you go back down mm -hmm. into it, and then you take the nubby behind, and you pull, and you take the knot, as, so you're pulling down, and the knot goes up, and you go, Yep. Um, who taught you? Your uh, father? Probably my dad. Was it sort of a touching moment? Yeah, we, we both cried. 
It was, awesome. but it was a combo of the internet and some friends, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and maybe yeah. I just also Googled it. I think my dad <laughs> probably did show me, but I didn't I didn't learn it in that moment. I learned it later. Yeah. And I also honestly only found out how I tie a tie. And I tie, start the tie and it's upside down. Or it would look like it's the back is facing forward. And I find that yeah. makes it better. Oh. That makes it have one less fold that sometimes the fold gets makes the knot all choked up. Mm-hmm. I believe that's actually the correct way. Although I say the correct way, there's actually like eight or nine ways to tie a tie. Yeah. Because there's all those different knots. And not every knot needs the same. I think having a cool knot, like a signature knot, would be kind of cool. Oh, yeah. There's like the wing one and the other one. Zach, do you know how to do this? Nope. Okay, let me get. Should we just switch spots? All right. Where were we? All right, Rainy. All right. Tell me up here. Tell me, tell me down. Tell me up and up, down. Okay, let me do staff trivia for 500. Let's go with Bob Coulter for 200. Okay, 200. Andrew Tate was found by the Romanian police. How, Zach? By a, being a big old piece of dummy and shit. fighting <laughs> on the internet, and he had a pizza box in the image, and the Romanian police were able to find one. Which pizza apparently place. isn't actually true, but it's the story that in my like. heart. What was the truth? That wasn't it was just a timing. Like they just they just happened to oh. find him, but it was oh. like would have been you, really Andrew funny. Tate. Either way, I'm gonna go with the pizza story. Yeah. The pizza W. We got points, 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 baby. Points, 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 points. So many points. Oh. How many points? How many points do we have? I don't know. I'll I'll do I'll <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'll add it up when I add it. Let's go with you guys four hundred. Audience, thanks for being here with us on the synth episode. I feel like it's not exactly the synth episode you got last time. It's both there are songs that sound like songs, and then at the beginning, it definitely was just a bunch of weird sounds, but that's part of synth life. <laughs> synth life, y'all. <laughs> um, what celebrity does Becky get most often get compared to? Good question. Um, <laughs> there is one. I'm really bad for answering these questions. I don't know any celebrities' names. Tell them, describe them. So they look like Becky. <laughs> There's one on like a like a like a TV show, like a mm. like a crime drama show or something mm-hmm. like that. I that, remember her talking it, about is that. Is that who the, you've chosen or is someone else? Because I'll never know that person's name. Um. So I was gonna ask her, but I th- <laughs> is, I is have an idea. IDK at the bottom well, of this. Well, it is an IDK, but who it's, I think it's gonna be is Alexandria Daddario. Alexandria Daddario. Yeah. Do you have a picture? I don't even know if that's how you spell it. TBD. Yeah. She's the, in um, White Lotus, the first season. She is. Like, yes, I remember her, and I guess in some ways she kind of has a Becky look. Yeah. Um, in that they're both pretty and both have brown hair. You're so bad. Yeah, at and this. blue eyes. No, you're not. Well, Zach. I'm trying to figure. Out. What are you trying Zach. to figure out? What do you want to do? I'm trying to just things. What? Do you want to switch them? Yeah. So um, on the, not the very most top bar, but the second bar where it says like, like drum kit one, tap yeah. that and go down to the bass one. I did. Uh, you want different instruments? Yeah. I want different, just that, a different. way harder. You I want a whole new project? I want a whole new everything. On the button, uh, there's the, ta- the actual tactile buttons that are where your right hand would be if it was on a thing. There's one that says main. There's one that says menu. Um. I think that Becky should be compared to all of the best celebrities. All of them, none of the worst ones. I give you points for that. Also, <laughs> but I do think there's a TV because I remember her talking about it, but I don't know the TV show. Yeah, but I remember either. that that it's she gets a lot of DMs with that. Some kind of crime drama or something. Yeah. Yeah. It's something like that. Maggie wants to retire where? Mexico. Is that right, Zach? Oh, hi. Or Mexico. Those are both correct answers. All right. All right. We'll see. Why? You can sit why, with us. Why? Oh, hi. Just because it's so relaxing. Just fucking vibey. Yeah. I feel like there's not enough to do there. Yeah. I like vibes, but I also like to be able to go like see a movie or play miniature golf. Uh, hey, man, I hear you. And like, I don't think oh, hi has the best situation for that. You hear that? Oh, hi. Get a mini golf course. If you want Keith Harrisburg to come in town. Get more than just your confusing hotels and confusing. and and overbooked restaurants. That's a cool sound. Is that, is that like a sound effects thing? Ooh, that's cool. 
That's funky. Okay. <laughs> now I'm on the other side of this, and I realize that maybe this episode is terrible, <laughs> or is it incredible? I don't know. We'll find out. Right, well, we should talk about something exciting and invigorating mm -hmm. and get the people fucking amped. Like, I feel like your story with the scoring, that probably was pretty good. It's a story they've heard before, but they haven't heard it with an underscore. Yeah. Um, but what's is there any, any of these questions about me? Yeah. 100 is the lowest value? It's the lowest value question? Well, it's pretty easy. It's What's pretty Keith's easy cell phone wallpaper? What do you think it is? Me? Yeah. Probably like Alfred. Zach, what's my cell phone wallpaper? Alfred. Survey says? Alfred! Alfred, but the wallpaper is normally the stuff behind it, and that's Grandpa Barry. Aww. But, but yes, it's my cats, They're and they're so pretty and cute. And I love them. Ooh, someone's recording. Well, I don't know. I am I. Nice. Very cool. Yeah. Alfred is my cat. I love my cat. He probably don't have to do it anymore. Oh, I don't know what you did. See, it's one. How many bars is it on the top? I don't know. Oh, a lot. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what do I do? I press record. And play. Yeah, the little like play record one. And how do I make it shorter? That's a lot. I'm going to have to go over there. Uh, we're not going to do Something I can't convey to you. You just have to make it. Whoa, DJ Corn Diddy in the house. Yeah, I adopted Alfred in early 2020. I got him on 420. He came from Mexico and now he lives with me. He used to be in the cat hoarder's house, but now he lives by himself. Actually, that was only true until early 2022. Actually, 2021 when I got Grandpa Barry. He is a kitten and he's really, really crazy. It's a very long song. I gotta get back to where we were. Oh, yeah. He's a crazy does little Does he like kitten. Grandpa Gr Barry? He does. They do? They like each other? They, they like each other. They always play with each other and then here we go and they play and Grandpa Barry we like to call. We like to call him a little gremlin. <laughs> we like to call him a little gargoyle because he always sits really high and sits hunched and looks at us even when we're sleeping. And sometimes you'll wake up and he's licking and he's creeping. He's spooky. He's scary. And he always brings his ball into the bed and wants to play fetch at any time or day or night. <laughs> he when, never gives up. When did you get in the most trouble? What did you get in the most trouble? When did for? I get in the most trouble? Yeah. I never got arrested. Nice. I never got in. I don't think I got cap, like trouble with the law <gasps> or anything like that Very or even good. an authority figure. I didn't. What about in get a principal? You never got detention ever? No. Zach, did you get to the detention? Hell yeah. Hell no, yeah. Not really. Only um, like once or twice. For no. what? For not doing homework? Uh, fucking stupid shit. Okay. <laughs> I don't think no I ever detention. got in trouble. And it wasn't because I wasn't necessarily doing something wrong, but I was. I guess I was good I, at hiding it or lucky. Yeah, lucky is big. Lucky? What about at work? Like, did you? Has your boss ever yelled at you? Has my boss ever yelled at me? Or not yelled, me? but like been like, or hey, been Keith. like, oh well. <laughs> Yeah, but <laughs> I don't think I was actually doing anything wrong. I think <gasps> they were wrong. Period. Yeah. Tell me about it. Well, can we? It was a buzz buzz. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they were we, wrong. We had some disagreements. And once we got called into an office and uh, we it explained... It was their fault. We explained our disagreements and I, I'm still of the mind that they were wrong. And I think they were wrong. Yeah. And I think they know they were wrong, but that's long behind us now, so who cares? That's right. Yeah. We're dancing tonight. Ooh, hope you're having fun listening to this episode of the Tripod, y'all. I promise something really funny and cool is going to be said real soon. <laughs> <laughs> Women's history for 500. Herstory. I want to know what the question was. What's the most valuable one? Okay. The most valuable herstory. When was birth control legalized for, for, for the single woman? I really love the way you've... Tuesday. Created that phrase. Tuesday. Well, because it was legalized for the married woman first. Oh, I see. Yeah. I, I like for the single woman. Rather and whoever than for gets closer women. to this year. Birth wins. control legalized for single women. 
for a single woman. Feels like something in the 70s, but could be later because, you know, women yeah. face more oppression yeah. than men. And I uh, definitely didn't learn about this in Tennessee education system <laughs> um, at all. Uh, yeah. So I, I was never taught this. Yeah. You're um, close, though. I would say just get uh, in the 70s. Maybe, I don't know. When was the last... Who who was president during which parts of the oh, 70s? Oh, that's a really good thought because process. Because when was Reagan was in the 80s? Right? Yeah. Or late 70s, early 80s, maybe. Cuz we had the other George Bush before Clinton. I figured mm -hmm. it out. You ready? Yeah. 1 2 3 4 Uh Close, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, very close. You figured it out. Wait, um, I was going to go yeah. 1978. 1972. Pretty good. That was good, though. Pretty close. Six years. I had thought 1972, and then for some reason I thought oh, it must be later than that. Yeah, because it is generally that's how history goes. Where yeah. you're like, it's probably just a little bit worse. At first, I thought it was like 60s. I'm like, no, 60s no. is too early. But maybe yeah. the married woman got it in the late 60s because they were yeah. probably like, all right, the baby boom is out of control. Please stop having babies for a second, people. Yeah. And then they were like, so they were like, married people, if you've given us babies, you can stop. Mm -hmm. It was like all woman. about like right to privacy, which is interesting. Huh. And there was this guy who kept like, it was just his one mission to um, abduct birth control from the male. So he would like go through people's mail and he went through like thousands of people's mail. He stole mails. birth control to yeah, just get rid of it? Then he reported it. He reported it because oh, it was illegal. Oh, what no. a pe fucking piece of shit. I know he's a weird guy. First of all, that's illegal. Yeah. You, no, well, you well, can't go through people's mail. Once it's yeah. in someone's mailbox, you cannot take it. I'll update this story later when I when I review it. I, I wrote know an essay that's on true. It. I know that's true. Yeah, it's something really like <laughs> just like you really can't open a piece invasive. of mail that's not to you, even if it's to your house. He was like part of the U.S. Like he was he was part of the U.S. government. So somehow he had some. He probably just knew he wouldn't get in trouble because of corruption. Yeah. But it probably was still illegal, unless he had a, yeah. a warrant for every single person's mailbox. You know, he yeah. you can't do that. You can't do that. that, and that's that is probably why it was a right to privacy thing. Yeah, because someone was invading people's privacy and someone was like, hey, this is illegal, right? And they were yeah. like, hmm, it's not explicit. Maybe we should make it explicitly illegal. Yeah, <laughs> right. Probably. Yeah. That's interesting. Did you yeah. you wrote a paper on this? I wrote a paper, but it was I wish I had, I should have read it before this episode in um, like um in like a women's history course or just a general history course. Yeah, or? it was. What was it? I think it was um, uh, women in America since 1950. It was pretty fun. That's probably a good a, class to take. It was take. a cool class. I, think I liked it would it a teach lot. you a lot about what your parents. The issue though was that the professor was amazing, but half of the classes were just like a book club. Like she just put us in groups and we talked about the book that we had to read. And I was like, I don't want to do this. Lame. Yeah. I was in a women's studies class and perhaps we did learn about the birth control, but it was really more about uh, labor stuff. Oh, like work. Uh, yeah. Work, oh. equal pay, that kind of side of that was most yeah. of our semester but I remember unfortunately my teacher was really not great at teaching unfortunately yeah. and also her class was incredibly like full of frat bro douchebags who were incredibly disrespectful Huge it was a surprise. gen ed and I think they just got stuck in that uh, class because they didn't pick their classes in time and they got what was left and what was left was the women's history class yeah and they were in there and they were pieces of shit absolutely that obnoxious sounds, pieces of shit yeah that sounds just really bad it was awful and they like fully bullied the teacher whoa that was very Weird. Yeah, I know. I was in a, I was in Spanish because I was so bad at Spanish. I took Spanish for like all through middle and high school. Then in college, tested in Spanish one, and but I was right on the cusp of Spanish two. So she was like, "Do you think you can handle Spanish two? And I was like, "I've taken this class like three times. Like I can." But because it was Spanish two and not Spanish one or Spanish like higher, I was with like all the jocks, and it was yeah. interesting. It was an interesting. Do you speak Spanish now, Rainy? Absolutely not. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely no. not. I wish, but um, I think it's because I'm dyslexic. Dyslexic people like can't do languages. Huh. Hello over here. That's nice. That's a really nice sound. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh, that's that's almost like a what I would pick for the main key line for rainy day thoughts. <gasps> That well, is you really know good. it's time to learn about what Rainy's been thinking about. 
A few rainy day thoughts, rainy day thoughts, rainy day thoughts, rainy day thoughts. Guys, we're gonna fucking do this. Oh shit. Are you wondering what Rainy's got on her mind? Are you wondering what she is thinking about? Are you, are you, are you wondering what are Rainy's thoughts? How she's gonna work it out? Hey, Rainy, what's your thoughts? Hey, Rainy, what's your thoughts? Thoughts for a rainy day. Rainy day thoughts with Rainy Tom. Okay, I need to record this because I'm on to something. <laughs> yeah, except you're playing in it. A BPM very different from the set metronome. <laughs> oh no, it's already playing something. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I don't think we're going to say You it. guys heard it, right? It was heard it. Recorded on we here. recorded it's recorded it. On here. We okay. recorded it on the episode. So, we'll just right, play that load it. so it's. I already sang it. <laughs> and now we. Okay, so that's track one. Yeah, yeah. Ready? And then it's. <laughs> yeah, the, the pads aren't as sensitive as I think they ought to be for a fairly new board, unfortunately. Do any of you want to climb Everest if you were in shape enough <laughs> to do it? Like, not not in terms of, like, huge, training. Huge, huge qualifier. You, do yeah. you think I would want that as a life affirming experience mm -hmm. if I physically wouldn't die doing it? Not no, not all. if you wouldn't die, but if you like physically could do it, like the risk is still there. I could physically do it right now, but I'd probably die. Well, why would you die? Would you die because of your Wait, this body? This isn't rainy day questions. This is rainy day thoughts. Well, my thought is I don't have any interest and I feel like I'm the only one. No, I don't. It doesn't I don't, sound I don't, fun. I don't have it doesn't any. Sound cool. I don't have any interest. Yeah. However, they take like tourist groups up there nowadays. Like you have yeah. to be kind of good at climbing, but they can make sure you don't but die. But they, but a lot of people die. Oh yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. I just think is so scary. Yeah. It seems scary and I don't have any interest to yeah. climb a mountain. And what are you going to see when you're up there? Yeah. The and world. The world. Um, it's called an airplane. Um, <laughs> I'm sure. Look, I mean, if you've gone on a hike before and you've had that feeling of like, oh, we, oh, you know, we fucking it's did it, the guys. fucking endorphins. Let's eat our fucking peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> that we trudged all the way up here. That is, there's something about that peanut butter and jelly sandwich at the top of a hike that just I will hits. say, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches just hit at any point of the hike. Yeah. And it's good because it, it's sugar, it's protein, it's carbs. It's like mm. it's it's what you need. <laughs> My dad, well, so I'm from Colorado, so it's like very mountainy. My dad, growing up, went on this camping trip and he ate just butter because it was a winter camping trip and he was like, I just needed the most amount of calories for the least amount of weight. Isn't that crazy? He ate. He would eat butter as like meals. Not the worst. If it was good yeah. butter. Is it salted butter? I don't know. We could call them, but. It's like unsalted <laughs> butter. That would not be very good to just eat unsalted butter. That'd be so gross. Yeah. And, oh man, you're, imagine. I mean, the whole thing is pretty gross. congealed fat that's just all through your mouth and throat. Oh, <laughs> yuck. Yeah. Um, but yeah, meals on hikes. Yeah, you can eat anything. Anything you want. I feel like <laughs> if I was absent mindedly listening to this podcast, I'd be searching my house to find the music to turn it off. <laughs> I would think there's two different things going on. There's music and there's discussion. And I want to turn one of them off. All right, you're right. You guys should shut up for a second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we've got enough con for Did the. We, I feel like week. a failure. <laughs> Why? Because I feel like I brought these silly noise toys in. Oh my gosh! People loved the synth. Cut. I mean, look, this isn't the one I'm really good at. <laughs> it's true. The one, I should have brought the one you're really good at, because you actually are somewhat familiar with at least how to use it. And it's not like so. There's a difference. That one is a like a a beat maker mm -hmm. box. It's not. It is a synthesizer. It could be categorized as one, but it actually does so much more than synthesizers. That one is like, that's a synthesizer. That's what yeah. the fuck, it's a semi-modular synth. Yeah. Um, that's what it does. Yeah. And these, this instrument is played by, uh, in, in the music of probably uh, tons of songs you've heard, it's a very common instrument. Uh, Harry Styles. Harry Styles. Absolutely yeah, has one, 100%. Uh, or, or has a better 
one because this is the Moog Moog. Mo, this is the Moog grandmother. There's the mother. There's another. Uh, there's a few others, and they're just different. Do you think he knows how to play it, or do you think somebody else does it for him? Um, I think someone else does it for him, but I think mm. he is aware of how to kind of play it. Yeah. But I I think that's not his strength when it comes to his performing. Yeah, I, that's so interesting. I wonder like how much he orchestrates his songs. But you never know. That's such a. I'm sure, he does a little bit of melody writing mm-hmm. and says, and stands by someone else as they play, being like, mm, not like that. More like, yeah. uh, how much authorship? Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. And I mean, that's how I write with Lou Berger. If I have a melody in my head, yeah. I sing it at Huey, and then we. Tr- I kind of sometimes I I get on the keyboard and try to pound mm-hmm. out the chord I think it is, uh-huh. and he'll tell me like, oh, it's probably close to that, but this note you're singing doesn't fit that chord. I'm like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and then mm-hmm. we work it out together. Yeah. So it's, yeah. a, it's part of being a band. You don't have to be. You don't have to the go out it alone. You have to. You get to collaborate. Yeah. But that box means you don't even need to collaborate. You can just do it all yourself. <laughs> oh. Oh. Told you guys in that other episode. That's what that sounded like. And now everyone's like, "Yeah, it is what it sounds like." I do like the snaps and the and the. Yeah, the snaps, yeah, the snaps are, are nice. really good. Snaps are satisfying. They got a good reverb yeah. on them. One time, my friend was like, "Rainy, my favorite sound in the world." is a rock dropping on another rock. And I was like, my favorite sound is the iPhone closing. And Ooh. he was like, no, that doesn't count. It's, it's electronic. Well, and I was what, like, oh, but good, I feel like those are up there too. A good sound. When you buy a pre-rolled joint, oh. it comes in a little tube. Mm-hmm. And that tube normally has a, a pop top. Oh, and when yeah. you squeeze the side, it goes. And it has oh. a really satisfying that's nice. sound, but it's like it's even better than what I'm doing. What I'm doing is does no, it kind of sounds more like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounds more like that. I really like um, a Zippo lighter. Oh, what's that? Uh huh. Really good sound. And the feel of it too. Mm. It just kind of makes me go like. <laughs> <laughs> Well, another perfect episode of the tripod. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, sir. Thanks for joining us. With this melody under your your belt, hit us with the official tripod theme song. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. We had so much fun playing with synthesizers and playing Jeopardy. Even if it was really barely Jeopardy. Many of the questions didn't have answers. Many of the answers weren't phrased as questions. That is not how Jeopardy's played, but we still had fun anyway. Thanks for being here on the tripod. Have a good ass week.